Welcome to Yoga Conditioning. Thank you for all of you who have joined me live. Thank you for those of you who are watching this as a recording. Namaste to you all. So David Ito here from New York City. And today the class is going to focus on the abdominal muscles, the core and the hip flexors. So our goal pose for every class, we have a goal pose. It's Navasana Boat Pose that we're going to be working towards. So let's all first start in a cross-legged seat, lengthen the spine. Start to breathe, close your eyes, breathe through your nose. Relax the shoulders. Feeling that cool air going in through the nose into the throat cavity, chest cavity, belly expands. And we start practicing this breath that allows us to expand in all directions towards the front, the sides, and even the back. So notice the space between your shoulder blades. Notice the lower back. As you breathe in, notice what's going on. And if you're able to relax those body parts so that you can breathe towards the entire chest, the entire torso. So sitting on something, sitting up straight. Namaste, namaste to Bob who just arrived. So close your eyes, lengthen the back of the neck, back of the head, crown of the head being pulled up, micro tuck in of the chin. That's going to help you lengthen that cervical spine even more. So let's all inhale together through the nose, three part breath, inhale one third of the way, chest expands. Then inhale the second, the one third into the rib cage. Then the rest, one third of the way, belly expands, top of the breath. Open the mouth inside out. Ah, really let it all out. Let's do this two more times. So inhale, chest, rib cage, belly, top of the breath. Open the mouth inside out. Ah, so good, so relaxing. Last one. Inhale deeply. Keep filling up with air. Feel the spine lengthen. Chest expands. Top of the breath. Ah, open the mouth and side out. We're just going to do one warm up exercise. It's going to be cats and cows. So I'm going to move backwards so you can all see me. And from here, we start to open up the chest on the inhale, really broaden chest, heart center, shoulders roll out and back, tailbone lifts back, chin lifts up, top of the breath, feel the belly expand. On the exhale, we round the spine, chin to chest, tailbone lifts, belly in. Inhale, open the chest. This is called the cat. Lift the chin, tailbone back, shoulder blades meet at the back. Exhale, start rounding the spine. Chin to chest, tailbone lifts, barely contracted, pull it inwards. Continue like this five more times on your own. Go as slow as you can on the breath, remember? We move on the breath. This is still a yoga class, even if it's a conditioning focus class. Ujjayi breath, contracting the throat, helping you breathe a little more uh, mindfully. Also heating up. Ujjayi is a heating breath, a heating type of pranayama. A few more like this. Notice the vertebrae. Notice your range. Noticing what is your range today? What works for you? What's going on with your body today? Last one together. Inhale forward into cat. Sorry, into cow. Round into cat. And we come back to neutral. All right. So we are going to go on our backs. 
on the floor. Lie down. We're going to start warming up with um, some leg lifts. So arms are extended alongside, feet on the floor as wide as your hips, knees are bent. Neck is long and spacious. We're going to bring our feet together, then our knees together. We're going to flatten the spine. There's this micro pelvic tilt so that that allows you to really compress and protect your lower back as we're flattening it. Now we start lifting the legs. The shins are parallel to the floor, toes pointing away from you. So there's 90 degrees from the torso to the thighs, 90 degrees behind the knees. All right, so keep engaging the core to keep your flat back. On the inhale, we're gonna tap the toes down, keep flattening the back. On the exhale, we bring the knees up. All right, let's do this on the breath. Inhale, toe tapping. Exhale, lift the knees up. And we're going to continue like this for about half a minute. So it's not too bad. Then we're going to take a break. So really move on the breath. Inhale, toe tap. Flatten that back. Exhale, knees up. On your own. Really using the breath to help you through this. You can take a pause. You can come down whenever you're ready. You can come back and join the rest of the group. This is your practice. 10 more seconds. The breath leads. The body follows. Five more seconds. Exhale. And then next round, just bring your feet down. We're going to windshield wipe just to relax a little bit the hips. We're going to bring our feet wider than our hips. And now we start bringing both knees to one side on the exhale. On the inhale, we lift the knees up. On the exhale, we let the knees drop to the other side. So continue like this. Enjoy this. Have fun. Feel a little bit of that release in the lower back. Feel the release in the hip joints. Feel the release in all this area that we're working on. It's a bit of a waist stretch, the side muscle stretch. And we come back to neutral. We're gonna do one more round. This time, we are gonna add on if, it, if, if, if you feel like going that far. So where I will explain. Inhale the legs up. Legs are in tabletop. This is what we call tabletop. Flatten the spine. And from here, we're getting the abs. You can stay here. If you thought that was challenging, you can just repeat what we just did. Or we're going to extend the hands and arms forward. And we're just going to lift the shoulders. All right. So from here, we're going to do the same thing. 30 seconds. So inhale, flatten that spine. Toes come down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, deep breath. Exhale, lift the knees up. And continue like this on your own. You decide your pace. Keep lifting the shoulders, back of the neck is long and spacious. Exhale, feel those abdominal muscles working. Inhale, exhale, keep lifting the shoulders up. 15 more seconds. Really use Ujjayi breath to help you through this. It makes a huge difference. 10 more seconds. Lengthening the spine, lengthening the neck. Five more seconds. This should be burning by now. And release, release, relax. The shoulders down, the head down. Windshield wipers once again. Feet wide. And slowly bring both knees to one side. On the inhale, lift the knees up. Exhale, the knees to the other side. And just keep moving side to side, feeling the stretch and even the massage. Notice that you're also massaging the glutes, the flesh underneath the sacrum, all oh, that area. Beautiful. Well, 
Alright, one more in each direction, and then we meet back in neutral. So keep your knees up. Alright, let's reposition. This time we're adding on one more layer. So again, you can start with the first one. You can continue with the second one. Or we're actually going to strengthen the legs. All right. So we always start the same way. Bring the feet in together, knees together. We press the, the lower spine onto the floor. That flattens the back, protects the spine, and also engages. This is half of the exercise in itself. Lift the legs up in in the in the tabletop now this time we're gonna lift the arms straighten the fingers away from you lift the shoulders and now this time we can straighten the arms and we're just gonna hold here we're just gonna hold it in tabletop all right so we're gonna hold it here for half a minute this is a long time so we just breathe it if you need to come down, you need to come down. If you need to go from straight legs into a tabletop, that's fine. Big belly breaths, 20 more seconds. Ujjayi breath makes a huge difference. You got this, 10 more seconds. Five more seconds. And slowly bend the knees, plant the feet, relax the body. Yes, windshield wipers. They never felt so good, right? <laughs> ah, so good. So while you windshield wipe, let me just highlight the importance of the breath when we're doing these more challenging poses. The reason is that when we stop breathing, our nervous system switches into the sympathetic nervous system, which is the fight, flight, you know, the more action. So that also um, induces the creation of stress hormones, the cortisol. So we basically want to stay away from that. When we start getting more nervous, then um, the breath is definitely interrupted. Um, brain starts to also start to panic, so it's in our favor, in our advantage to continue breathing. So to keep really the breath as the base of our practice during regular vinyasa or hatha class or just a conditioning class. The breath leads and the body follows. All right, so we're adding one more layer right so today it's really about the core so we're actually gonna bring the knees up and we're gonna roll up and down this is just a transition so just roll up and down grab behind the knees massaging the back have a little fun with this challenging your balance and then we come back to sit. so we come up bring your feet down all right here, this is where we, we're, we're working towards um, Navasana today. So, we're gonna come into tabletop from here, but the most important part is, look at my spine, to not round the spine. If you start rounding the spine, not only is this dangerous for your back, but you're actually out of alignment and it's very difficult to breathe. So even if this is your boat pose for today with your feet down, make sure that the spine is long. I'm always a broken record, tailbone, shoulders, crown of the head, one long line, really stretching the back of the neck that way. All right, so this is the basics. So if this is it for you, this is it for you. That's great. Otherwise, if we lift the legs up, we come into tabletop. Same as before. Shins are parallel. Make now, you know, body scan. What's going on with your spine? If you've started to round your spine, you don't. You definitely want to stay here. Otherwise, we're going to extend the arms forward like we did before. We're gonna hold it here. Optional. Straighten the legs. Otherwise, the rest of us, we're going to stay in tabletop. Back of the neck is long and spacious. You grab behind the knees if you need to and breathe. 30 seconds here. Ujjayi breath. 
keep lengthening the spine. Keep lowering the shoulders away from the ears. Keep bringing your big toes, your knees together. 15 more seconds, you got this. Big belly breaths. If the body's shaking, it means it's working. As long as there's no pain, you're still doing good. Keep lengthening that neck, five more seconds. Beautiful, grab behind the knees, lower the feet down and roll down, vertebra by vertebra. Well done. Whew. <laughs> All right, windshield wiper. This is like, you know, break time between the more intense poses. Just enjoy this. Catching your breath. Deep inhales, complete exhales. All right, so as you can see, we're really adding on. So the full boat pose was in the form, which is like an inverted V. So actually, no, like a, not an inverted V, it is a V. Inverted V is sometimes referred to downward facing dog. But what I'm trying to say is that this lengthening of the legs, when we straighten the legs and we're in that V, that is traditional boat pose Navasana. So now we're going to be working the bottom half of that Navasana pose. So let's all come back to neutral. All right. And we're going to extend our legs on the floor. We're going to bring our hands under our um, our glutes so basically palms facing down so roll over onto one side and then kind of scoot one arm underneath or at least one hand and then lift the other shoulder and bring the other hand down so right now you're kind of lying on your arms palms facing down what does this do this protects our lower back all right so from here we're gonna bring our legs together we're gonna bring our big toes together. We're gonna to engage the core the same way that we did to keep that flat back. So the lower back stays flat, engaged. Engage the core and on the inhale, we're gonna start lifting the legs up to vertical. And then we're gonna exhale on the count of three. Three, two, one. Inhale up, deep breath, exhale. Three, two, one. Inhale, exhale, flatten that spine. We're gonna continue like this 10 more times. You can take a break if you need to. Keep flattening that lower back. Three, two, one. Inhale up, we've got seven more. Lengthen the back of the neck. Three, two, one. Deep inhales, controlled exhales. Five more. Keep those legs together. Keep pointing those toes. Three more. Relax your jaw, relax your neck. Maybe a little smile, doesn't hurt. Come on, last one, you got this. And let go, release the arms. Of course, where are we going? Windshield wiper. It's just easy and it feels so good. Windshield wipers, it has a bit of a waist twist, so it also has a little bit of a stretch of the abdominal muscles. So we are working the whole system here, different parts of the abdominal muscles and the hip flexors. This last one is mostly for the lower abdominals and for the hip flexors. One more round of windshield wipers to help us calm down. Catching our breath. 
feeling the heartbeat wind down, feeling also the mind relaxing. And next time you bring your knees down, we're going to roll over onto our belly. So we're going to come face down. We're going to go first into a baby cobra. The idea is we're going to start stretching the abdominal muscles that we just worked. So bring your hands under your shoulders, forehead on the ground, legs extended, all 10 toes, toenails pressing onto the floor. We're going to start lifting the forehead, the shoulders, heart center, lifting up, gazing towards the front, not crunching the back of the neck, still back of the neck is long and spacious. And exhale the forehead down. And we're going to be increasing the range from baby cobra to high cobra. If you have lower back pain, you can always go into upward facing dog, which is basically lifting the hips and the knees off the floor. But let's work on it slowly. So make sure that all 10 fingers, fingers are wide, hands are wide, starfish. On the next inhale, start to peel off the upper body and start using your triceps, lifting the shoulders and the torso up a little bit more to start feeling that stretch in the abdominal muscles and exhale we come down and continue like this at your own pace really hugging elbows into the side ribs feeling your range for today so yes this is also an upper body uh, conditioning um, but basically what we're trying to do is measure uh, how high do I go to start feeling that stretch in my abdominal muscles. Inhale as you come up, maybe coming up all the way and then releasing. Being mindful of your lower backs, being mindful of what's going on in your body. If you feel pain, then definitely tone it down. And this time around, we're actually going to hold it. So now that you've tried different heights, just hold it and keep bringing your heart center forward, lifting the crown of the head upwards, maybe straightening the arms a little bit more, really bring the belly foot down and forward to feel that opening in the abdominal muscles, hip flexors, top of the breath. And slowly come down, hugging elbows to side ribs. We're going to push ourselves up onto hands and knees, widen the knees, big toes to the child touch, child's pose, extend the arms forward. Let's make this an active child's pose to so really extend the arms, pressing the floor down and away. That's going to help you bring your hips a little closer to your heels. Big toes to touch. Negotiate the space between your thighs so that your torso, your belly can fit in there. So pressing down, lifting the elbows off the floor. That's going to help you to push the ground away to bring your hips a little bit further back. You should feel really nice, yummy lower back release. Deep inhale. Complete exhale, let go of tension, low back, pelvic floor, belly. Relax the arms now, just make this a more passive child's pose. Relaxing the face, the shoulders, the chest, the armpits, the ribs. Relax the legs, the thighs, the belly, the pelvic floor, lower back. Complete surrender, relaxing after those intense abdominal conditioning exercises, slowly coming back to balance. One more breath here, big belly breath, open your mouth inside out, ah. all right, use your hands to push yourself up and swing the legs around. Come into cross-legged upright seat. 
I suggest you sit on something. It just always feels good, more comfortable, and it's easier to sustain when our hips are a little higher than our knees. All right, my friends, let's bring our hands together at heart center. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Bow the chin down. Close your eyes. Thanking yourselves for taking the time for today's practice. Working on our core, specifically the first three chakras of the body, tailbone, navel, solar plexus. These are the chakras that connect us to the ground, grounding. And they also help us in our practice for all of these asanas that require the engagement, the lifting of legs. Navasana that we practice today is the perfect example. So thank you for coming to class. Slowly open your eyes, lift the head up. Namaste, namaste to you all. Thank you so much for coming. So Wednesdays, 12 o'clock yoga conditioning, Mondays, yoga stretching same time and every other saturday gentle yoga workshops a combination of yin restorative and yoga nidra have a beautiful day stay safe stay warm thank you for coming